Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with an empties video. And I have some makeup, some skincare, body, hair care, and I'm just gonna jump right into this. And I'm gonna start with the RCMA No Color Powder. And this is a classic that I don't think I'm gonna replace. This lasts forever and it's only $12, but this little shaker, I just cannot make friends with it. I just cannot like it. It makes me not want to use it or pick it up. So I've had this for probably two years, finally used it up, and I don't think I'm going to replace it. I like, this is almost a dupe for the Derma Blend. These are both no color powders, transparent. I just like the Derma Blend a hair better, and it may be the container. This is 25 and this is half of that, but they both last forever. So I think I'm gonna keep the Derma Blend. They need to fix the shaker. It's just not fun to use. <laughs> That's just not that great to use. Okay, next, I used up the Lancome Renergy Lift Makeup. And I'm not replacing this because I know they changed the formula and I have literally 30 foundations that I love. So I didn't replace this one, but if you've tried the new Renergy Lift Makeup, let me know how you like it. This was beautiful beautiful, but they don't sell it anymore. Okay, next I went through an e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and I really liked this. This was very blurring, and if you are looking for a blurring primer, this was a good one. I didn't replace it because I have so many that I'm going through. I have the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, which this reminds me of that. I have a Stila, and I think if I was going to replace a drugstore, I might still go back to the Angel Veil. The NYX Angel Veil, I really loved that, but this was nice. The e.l.f. was um, a really, really nice one. Okay, next, I have two color correctors. I have the, well, I'll start with this one, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish, I think they call this, and I loved this. I really thought I loved it when I was using it. But used it all up, this one's in Fair, and when I finished this one, I thought, well, I'm gonna go through an age rewind before I replace this. Hands down, this is the one I'm replacing. Now these run out fast, so I don't consider them that inexpensive, but this is my choice. Even if it's, you know, even if I have to replace it all the time, I replaced this with two. <laughs> so I love this. This just covers my dark circles as well as anything I have ever tried. High end, low end, whatever. This is hands down my favorite. Okay, next I went through a Thrive Mascara. This is a tubing mascara I <laughs> love. I, a lot of days, will use this as my base coat because then I, it just kind of rolls off. I can roll it off. I, uh, most days that I use this, will use this, and then I go over it with either the Sephora Lash Craft or the um, Essence Sculpted Volume because I like to layer mascaras. I just do. I could just use this. I have to be real careful when I do that because you don't want to get your eyelashes stuck together. You want to put on a coat, be sure they're good and separated, and let it dry. Then put on another coat, be sure they stay separated because it is hard. If they get separated, you can't really get them apart. So I do love this, but usually it's my bottom coat if I want that that day. And then I top it with one of these. Okay, next I went through an e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and I did not replace this. I liked it okay, um, but my favorite from the drugstore is a Morphe. I have a Continuous Setting Mist, and I also have the Mattifying, and I love them both. I love the Morphe because of the mist. Fine as dust. I love this. So, no, I did not replace the elf. Then I went through an Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. Okay, I'm glad I went through this too because some days this is my bottom coat. Instead of the Thrive, I'll use this Essence Lash Primer and I love this too. It's just a preference. It's just a mood thing. I will tell you when I'm going for a massage and I've got my face pressed into that pillow, I'm going to use this because my eyelashes get stuck together and they just clump, like even dry. They just stick together. If I'm going to be in high humidity, I'm wearing the essence because the Thrive, if it gets moist, it will start kind of rolling off. And that may not make sense, but a tubing mascara, when it gets damp at all, it just starts rolling off. Like if I wear my Thrive in the shower, 
<laughs> my face will be a black mascara mess when I get out usually because that humidity just kind of makes it melt off. So in a humid situation, you may disagree with that, but in a humid situation, I just find it's a little bit dangerous, that Thrive, but I love it. Okay, next I went through a Physician's Formula Thin Line. I did not replace this and I don't think I'm going to. This is so nice, but when it comes down to it, the e.l.f., I cannot beat an e.l.f. liner. And this one is the Intense Ink Liner. It looks kind of fat, but it makes a perfect thin or thick wing. I just can't beat the e.l.f. I love it. I get a perfect wing every time. The Physician's Formula was good, but I just like the e.l.f. better. This is the one I'm keeping. And it's cheaper too, so why fight that? Then I went through a Becca Sugar, and this is a perfect beigey nude. I dug that all the way out, and I did replace it. Yeah, I did replace it, and it is that. It's just a perfect peachy, beigey nude, and this is a beautiful everyday nude. I love it. Then I went through two Beauty Blender solids, and I did not replace this because I use the African Black Soap to clean my brushes and my sponges. It lasts forever. It's a huge bar of soap. Hang on, I'll get it. This is it. It's giant, and I think I paid $5 for that. It's huge. I buy about one of these a year. These are 16 and I went through these so fast. Yeah. This cleans my sponges and doesn't leave them black. You know, I was kind of worried about the black soap, but it's fine with them. So I'm just using this. No, I'm not replacing these anymore. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to my skincare items. And first I have two things of cotton. I have a Shiseido Cotton Squares and a Swiss Burs. I keep both of these. I replaced them both. Sometimes I want the Shiseido. It's soft and I just sometimes like this. And then sometimes I like the Swispers because these are a little firmer and they seem to exfoliate my skin. Well, they do exfoliate my skin way better than a Shiseido, which is very soft. So I keep both of these. I like them both. Oh, and then I have an African black soap <laughs> in my little um, frozen Ziploc bag. I saved it so you could see when it's worn out. I wear it down to that. And that probably lasted me a year. So I love my African black soap. Okay, next I went through an Obagi Exoderm Forte. And this is a blend of several acids. Heard about this on Melissa55 years ago. And I love this. I don't know that I've ever found an acid that would actually replace this. My skin never acclimates to it. It always turns it kind of pink and healthy and yeah. Just pink and healthy. It's just, I love my Obagi Exoderm Forte. And the Forte is the stronger one. And just the regular Exoderm is the milder. But I really love that. I think that's a 10% blend of acids. Then I went through a tube of Embryolise um, Cream Concentrate. And this is just a really nice moisturizer. No frills, really. It's got Shea Butter. Hold on. This has got Shea Butter Beeswax, Aloe Vera, and Soy Proteins. When I use this in the morning as a moisturizer, it makes the prettiest base. And people do use this as a primer. Primer, moisturizer, cleanser, like a cleansing cream kind of thing. This is a classic. A lot of makeup artists use that. Heard about that from Wayne Goss a long time ago. Okay, then I went through a Deer Skin Tranex. Tranexamic acid, 5%. Heard about this on Penn Smith Skincare's channel. I think that this kind of helped keep my spots down. And so, yeah, I, I probably will replace that, but I have not yet. I kind of forgot. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with copper lately and growth serums. I kind of forgot that, but yeah, I need to replace that. Okay, then I went through a Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum and I heard about this on Glitzy Fritzy's channel, and I really enjoyed this. I love this one, and I love the Timeless. I already had a backup of the Timeless, so that's the one I'm using, but I like them both. This one has a really nice fragrance to it, a really nice scent. I'm not strong, but pleasant, and I just kind of don't really see a difference in my vitamin C's, but I, I just kind of like them all. 
I just kind of like to be on a vitamin C and I use it and, you know, I know it's good for me. So, but I really enjoyed that. I liked this and it was easy to get my hands on, but right now I'm using the Timeless. Okay, I went through an Inkyless Ceramide Night Treatment and this was fine. I didn't really remember to use it all the time. It ran out pretty fast and I don't think I'll replace it. I didn't really notice anything with it, but I don't know that I should have noticed anything with it, you know. This would be nice to add to other and moisturizers that don't have ceramides, like as a booster. So I haven't replaced it yet, but not saying I wouldn't, you know, I might in the future. Then I went through Novaji Retinol 1% and I have loved this. I really liked this a lot. I did not replace it because I'm using the Zeo Skin Health 1%, which feels stronger than this to me. So I didn't replace this one. I'm using the Zeo and my Tretinoin a couple of times a week. And so I've just kind of moved on from this. And I get the Zeo when I go get a um, laser. When I go get my laser, every couple of months, I pick up another one. Okay, then I went through a Derma E Firming DMAE Toner. And I enjoyed this. And I wasn't going to replace it, but lately, Penn at Penn Smith Skincare has been talking about DMAE and how much she loves it. So I might replace this. A little extra firming DMAE can't hurt. So I haven't, but I probably will. And then I have the Hada Labo Cleansing Oil. And I like this a lot. It's a fragrance free. It gets everything off. So easy. And I just really like it. It's big. It's inexpensive. I also like the Burt's Bees Cleanser. And the cleansing oil, this just seems a tad easier to get my hands on. So I have been using this one. I do love that Burt's Bees though. It has a beautiful kind of a honey, limit, a citrusy honey scent. And I loved that. But I replaced this one. I also went through Anivia Sun Protect Water Gel. Always, always, always. I replaced this and I just, two full pumps every day. And it soaks right in, very light. Let me see if there's any. Yeah, there's a little bit. It's just very light, and I just haven't found anything that for the daily, for my face, under makeup, it's just great. Um, when I'm a little bit drier in the wintertime, I can see myself using the Dermatology. Anti-aging has so much good stuff in it, but in the summer, I love the lightness of this. Okay, next I'm going to move on to body and hair. I went through three soft soaps. I went through my Holy Grail, pomegranate and mango infusions. Mango, yeah, pomegranate, mango infusions. Nothing throws this off its pedestal for me. I love it. I never get tired of that. It's beautiful. If you're new here, it's like a grapefruit kind of citrusy, soft scent. And I like all the soft soaps because they're just a very rich gel. Just really, really nice. I went through a Shea and Almond. This was nice and rich, but I did not care for the scent. I thought the Shea and Almond would be really nice and kind of soft and almondy and gourmand to go with all my sleeping fragrances <laughs> that I'm so obsessed with. But it wasn't. This is more... I can smell more of a sharpness in this. It's It's got a sharper smell, kind of more detergent, soapy, so I didn't enjoy that. Macadamia Oil and Peony, I believe I replaced this one. And this one's okay. Yeah, this one's okay. It's soft for nighttime, so I think I did replace it, but that mango is still my favorite. Okay, and then the hair products, I went through a John Frieda Luxurious Volume Mousse. Absolutely. I replaced this because it gives me volume. It's great. Doesn't make it feel stiff. Doesn't take a lot. Not expensive. I love it. Then I went through a OGX Bamboo Fiberful Big Sexy Hair, Big Hair Spray. And I love this because it holds and then you can brush right through it. It's got bamboo fibers, which feel like little which feel like kind of a spider netting <laughs> on your hair. It's just kind of a soft hold, but firm. That's what I have on today. It's what I have on every day. And then I could go in there right now and just brush through it. I always, yeah, I have another one right here. I love it. Then I went through a Dove dry shampoo and fresh coconut, and I still might replace this, but I haven't yet. I like the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast, but this makes my hair feel actually a little cleaner. But I haven't replaced it yet. I liked this quite a bit, though. 
And that is all of my empties for this month. If y'all have any product recommendations or comments about the products I talked about, put that down below. And that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.